It's time to rebuild the army, but not with mice, they're only good for body parts. I'm going to attempt to start with warthogs because my heroes should be strong enough to get me some of these without dying too much themselves. And so far my theory seems mostly true. Since I already have a few of them, we're going to start walking towards where we left off where the stronger creatures roam, while also killing some morons along the way because I need their parts. And also lots of these things wherever I can find them. But soon my warthog army will take over the world, we're also going to take some spiders which are stronger than warthogs. I'm not going to lie, I thought it would take a lot longer to build back something of an army. Uh, here's a handful of trapped lizards we're going to go ahead and kill. Not taking any damage myself because I'm far too important for that, but I want more of their parts. I need those to teleport. And for some reason there's deer over here, they're some of the very weakest creatures in the universe. These I definitely want on my team, though they are very strong, so we'll probably take a few losses getting these, but I want them. At this point, I'm going to slowly transfer to an army of spiders and also the desert dog things. And I think I very much need to kill the dung beetles. They have some of those little yellow parts that I need lots of for teleporting that I never ever find. My army is currently at 12 out of 13 available spots, so I might actually have to get rid of a few hero animals that are probably weaker than a lot of these are these days. And we're also back to where the cobras roam. The cobras are basically glass cannons, which is hilarious. So we are going to take some of those, but we're not going to fight too many at a time because they're very strong. Uh, just kidding, we got swarmed by them, so I'm going to slowly move my player away while trying to fight as many of them as possible because they're probably going to obliterate my army. That's why I need Cobras of my own, because they absolutely destroy everything. This isn't really a great spot to be in. There's one lone Cobra. If I'm very quick, I could probably actually take it out and put it on my team. Though it might be part of that team. Uh, whatever, guys, get in there. Kill the Cobra. Do your best. Then they can probably kill the desert dogs pretty quickly. Hopefully. Mm, while not getting uh, flanked by those ones. Come on. Kill them. You can do it. There is also a cave here. I'm a little bit scared to see what's inside of it. There's also a cobra's about to kill us. There's two cobras which would actually make a very nice addition to my army. As long as they don't take out too many of my idiots along the way. I also just respawned my... Uh, hero cobra and also my alligator hero so those two should also help carry me through as long as nothing is too strong we're gonna fight these sea cobras just because we can and we found some new idiots to try and hurt looks like a turtle we can also get two out of four uh of those cobras unless we get bitten but since we're back at base we can level up a few things like the cobra who now does 825 damage i'm also going to upgrade my armor to be able to uh survive at least one bite from a cobra i'm also then going to spend my remaining 6500 dollars buying cobras just because they're very strong. This is an army that can do some damage, especially to mice. But to be able to warp anywhere, I need lots of wings, so I'm just going to warp somewhere where I can grind wings safely for a little bit, which is probably this area. Also, I feel like whatever lives in these caves is probably also respawned by now. Um, this was just a warthog, so my cobras will absolutely destroy this thing. Yeah, look at its health drop. Now I get the treasure. Perfect. This is what I was after. Lots of dung beetles will absolutely destroy those and take their parts. Uh, also attack the frogs, stupid, they're hurting you. While I was grinding up those, I found a free desert fox, so we're gonna throw that on our team, because why wouldn't we? Okay, I've returned to the danger zone, so uh, let's hope this goes a little bit better this time. As long as my idiot himself does not get bitten by cobras, we'll be okay. And I've got lots of cobras to bite back with, so hopefully we uh, end up with like a surplus of them. This area is also just very scary to be in because I'm constantly surrounded by things that could probably kill me very quickly. We'll take some of these, I guess. They're a little bit tougher. They don't do as much damage, but probably gonna lose a cobra doing this that's fine actually i don't think we did we have seven eight cobras plus the heroes plus the desert dogs now and there is a new warp point coming up uh let's attack these snapping turtles real quick though before we really get to that which is stupid but probably gonna lose a few cobras because i assume these are very strong but i want them and more importantly their hero so i'll take one of those then i very much need this warp point then i'll be able to teleport straight here now got in a big fight with too many cobras but i think we've got enough numbers we can probably just overpower them fairly easily and then we'll take the body parts of these things great rhinos okay guys get in there and kill the rhinos i need those i don't know how strong these are but presumably very okay no get the idiots in there first they have to sacrifice get the rhinos don't hit me though uh okay well they're kind of half doing their job but not really Okay, we got one, so they're not actually as strong as I thought, which is kind of good and bad, because I want them on my team, but only if they're good. I don't know, whatever. We got the rhino. We'll take these. So we have tons of cobras, a snapping turtle, and a rhino now, so I'm thinking our power just grew quite a bit. We're going to take some more snapping turtles, but not that many. We'll take on these four, because I'm feeling lucky. The cobras do so much damage. If I have a lot of them, they can hopefully overpower things before they can do much damage to us. But that's kind of a working theory, we'll call it. There's also a little something trapped in a cage. It looks kind of like a buffalo a bison i don't know what to call it we're gonna put it on our team though that's gonna take spot number 13 okay i think we have wolves now too which are now fighting rhinos and also cobras 
Um, I would like a wolf on the team, but that's all right. We'll just take its body parts instead. We also have a new teleport. Okay, that's a lot of wolves. So I'm going to make sure the, uh, yeah, we're definitely losing units here, but we're going to replace them with wolves. So I think that's going to be a good thing. We're losing a lot of units. Wow, wolves are very strong. Who would have knew? We also have the rhino at the back. Looks like he's managing to reach something. Whatever the case, we have wolves now. Uh, okay, we're being attacked by multiple sides, by multiple things. But whatever the case, we're going to maybe get some more cobras. Or whatever. I'm just going to take whatever we get at this point. These are all pretty strong. Plus, the more things we kill, the more experience we get and the more heroes we get. Like, I'm pretty sure we can get uh, hero uh, all sorts of things now that I don't have yet. That's a lot of wolves. I'm a little nervous about this battle, but we'll let them do their thing. My cobra hero is also dead. I might be able to respawn him with this. Then he's going to come back and do lots of damage for us. I don't... I think those are scorpions. Uh, I'm going to have to fight this army before I get in there because they were uh, attacking me. It's also nighttime, which is super annoying. But since I'm here anyway, guys, go fight the scorpions for me. All of you, get in there. We have a buffalo attacking them. I think he's pretty strong. He's not as strong as a scorpion, though. Guys, get in there. Come on, don't let the buffalo die. Well, the buffalo's dead. That's whatever to me, really. Now they're getting in there. The rhino got in there. I assume he's very strong, but I'm not really sure. He's 1v1ing a scorpion, and he's losing but that's okay because we're gonna have scorpions soon all right guys keep going there's a scorpion plus all the gems i found a lone scorpion wandering at night i think that is a boss unit i think like stronger units can appear at night so we're gonna go ahead and kill it because it's only one and we got two scorpions and we found a cave we're gonna uh, attack the cave because i have two scorpions the closest spawn point is yeah whatever we'll make this work so we're now going to fight a tiger a single tiger guys go get it oh that's new oh that means i actually have to try and avoid things wow that's absolutely destroying my army guys attack it gonna move attack keep attacking it wow that thing's so strong all right we're gonna uh retreat and probably never come back there's no way i can defeat that right now i made it to the next teleport spot so i'm gonna use this opportunity to go back to base and recharge and now i can get things like a wolf turtle so we're absolutely gonna get one of those he probably does a lot of damage he has 222 damage but he has 10,000 hp also a scorpion uh who is an elite 525 attack 12,000. so he's definitely going on the team also have a wolf and a rhino so we're gonna get rid of the desert dog and probably replace him with the wolf who has 315 attack 1150 i'm also gonna replace the alligator with the rhino it's elite but 317 attack, 12,000 uh, HP. So we get a much stronger hero lineup. And now the wolves and buffalo are definitely the strongest. Uh, Kobas are probably also very strong. Wolf turtles aren't as strong. Scorpions are definitely very dangerous. We're going to stay away from scorpions. I've also just realized I'm long overdue to buy some new slots in the army. That only costs 36, that costs 48, and I've got 560 left over. So we're going to get a much bigger army now. We went from, I think, 13 to 21 spaces. And I did buy some resources just because I need to be able to warp. So with my little bit of of remaining money i'm gonna buy three scorpions which means i now have i think five scorpions plus some really strong heroes let's get back to work i don't know if this is strong enough to uh take on the tiger boss i'm probably not gonna try right now we can uh, we can find better things the scorpions right now at least should be able to take on uh things like wolves fairly easily so we're gonna stock up our numbers with the wolves then and potentially oh, okay that's not good we don't want to be attacked from behind though because we can't really fight a multi-front war Okay, now you don't really have a choice, it seems. The wolves are pretty uh, determined to kill us. Well, as long as they're all in front of us, that should be fine. Okay, here comes yet another army of wolves, so that's great. Um, I don't want to lose... The scorpions are so expensive. Stop killing them. We're just going to run away. Actually, we're going to use this. Does that heal my units? Yep, it sure does. This is a little better. Here's three bison. Bison are also very strong. We should be able to kill them without losing anything important. Hopefully. Here's another cave. We're just going to take a gander. So, yeah, we're not fighting that. I already know that's way too strong. I think I lost to Scorpion just by poking my head in there. Probably got one-shotted immediately. Um, if we could fight one of these armies at a time, I'd be happy to fight the Bison. Because we've got a lot of army to fill up. And the bigger it gets, the faster it overpowers the enemy army. So, it just means we get bigger and bigger armies as we go. We just need to keep killing absolutely everything. Uh, Cobras still do more damage than anything, so I'm going to put them on the team but they're a little bit like a glass cannon. Also made it to the next warp point, which is getting close to the end of this area. Um, the elephant might be like the big boss. We will save up enough to be able to fight it. It's just going to involve a lot of fighting other things in the meantime. The praying mantis is new. Um, I'm a little concerned it's going to be kind of like the cobra, uh, super deadly, but whatever. We're going to put it on our team. And we're going to... Is that a bear? I think we could probably fight a bear, couldn't we? There's like 80 of us. We'll be fine. Get in there, guys. Go get the bear. Lead by example, but you guys deal with it all. Okay, our snapping turtle is leading and, and tanking the damage. That's good, because I don't really like him that much. 
We're also about to be attacked behind, but the bear is actually dying fairly quickly. That turtle is tanking all that damage for us. So we have a bear on our team now. I'm sure he's incredibly strong. I don't really know yet how strong the praying mantises are, but they seem to be able to absorb some damage. But we have a bunch of them on our team now. I suspect the bear is the strongest thing we have, and that's just fine by me. We're gonna fight the tiger next probably once we stock our numbers up with maybe praying mantises. I'm not really sure what to add to our team. Um, not sure what's dead there. I'm gonna use their body parts though. We're gonna move downwards to fight the actual enemies that can get to us. I think my bear actually just died. These praying mantises are very strong as it turns out. Um, so I think I'm in a little bit of trouble here. Those might actually make it to me. Wait. Okay, we got them. Kind of sad I lost my bear, though. Uh, the praying mantises can definitely overpower the cobras, which is impressive, just based on damage alone. Uh, so we're going to bolster our numbers with these guys, but then I'm going to go back and see if I can get, like, a praying mantis hero at this point, because that would be great. Oh, the buffaloes also want to fight. Uh, we get two out of four of them, so that's a pretty good ratio. Uh, unless we get attacked from all sides by buffalo, at which point we're probably just going to mostly run away. Until they ignore us, and we're gonna go get our one buffalo we got. Oh, that was close. I almost died there, but we're gonna finish off these guys. Praying mantises, do your work. I was literally on my way back to home and got killed by mouse. But looking back, we can also get things like a buffalo hero if we want, because they're very strong. And a mantis hero, because they're also very strong. 700 attack. So my new hero lineup looks like that, stronger than ever. Um, we're going to need to buy some more units. So bears cost $3,000, but they do 500 damage with 15,000 HP. The mantis does 667 damage, which is a lot. Um, doesn't have a ton of HP. I'm going to go bear. And thanks to a few little purchases, I got 13,000 gold. So we'll be able to buy, buy a few bears to start, just to give me a little bit of an edge. And a little more gold for a few more bears. Is that going to be enough? I want a bear army, but like a really big bear army. That's probably fine. <laughs> Do you think we have enough bears? This feels better. Now I have the confidence I need. So let's put the bears to the test against these guys. Yeah, they're going to walk right through them pretty easily. We're just going to take their body parts at this point. Uh, we're also being raided by all sorts of other things. Even the cobras. Well, they're not very strong, but they do a lot of damage. So let's make sure we're not going to lose any bears in this battle. Because if we do, we'll replace them with cobras. Cobras do more damage, but have way less health. I don't really even know what we're killing anymore. Our army's too big. I'll just take their body parts and be on my way. Okay, we have a army of wolves that wants to fight. Not a very big army. They're going to be surrounded by bears, so they're going to die very quickly. And if we lose any bears, we're going to replace them with wolves. Not a great substitute, but serviceable. There is a bit of a downside to an army this big is that they constantly get attacked by everything just because everything is within range to attack them. Uh, again, I have an army of bears, so I'm not really that worried. I am, however, getting annoyed about constantly having to fight everything, so we're just going to move into the tiger cave now. And, um... I don't know how this is going to go. The tiger's pretty strong, obviously. I just don't want to get hit by falling things. Ow, like that. Okay, I'm going to have to really work to avoid these, and it's hard to see where they're falling because I can't actually see anything. We just... Uh, don't touch that. Okay, that wasn't great. If I'm down here, I can... I slipped. I just wasted so much money doing that. It's hard to see past the bears. Okay, I'm basically not going to fight the tiger anymore because I can't really see where that thing's attacking. And that makes it too difficult and expensive to fight. Now I'm going to have to replace all of my bears, which are very expensive. And then probably upgrade my uh, weapon a little more. That way I'll do more damage. But my animals will also do a lot more damage. I guess I should probably also upgrade my stuff. Uh, that's going to give me more HP, but also my animals more HP. So let's march this army. We'll probably go fight the elephant then, because I'm pretty sure that's the boss of this area. Then we get to move on to an entirely new island. And if an army of bears can't defeat it, I'm not really sure what would defeat it. And we actually pretty much walked there without getting in any fights at all. All right, guys. Fight that elephant. As long as I'm sitting here, I think I'm safe. Okay, there is a little bit of a dodge, but not as much as the other thing is. What did I just kill that I can put on my team? Is it the... Oh, it's probably the mammoth itself. So far, so good. Wow, I'm not sure. Something was hitting it there for tons of damage. Uh, anyways, just I'll let the bears do their thing. I'll mostly just sit here and watch. They are slowly making their way around it, which is great. Uh, because the more things attack it at once, the more damage you're doing, the faster it dies. It's almost dead. It's down to like 10% health. Um, lots of bears attacking it. Pretty sure all my heroes are dead, but I can actually bring them back if I want to. Okay, that almost killed me. The scorpions in particular can do a lot of damage to it. Okay, it's dead. We've defeated the mammoth. Now it's on our team. Now I'm not really sure where to go. We're going to take the mammoth back and kind of study it. Before doing that, I'm going to try and get some health because I really don't want to die now. This is a very expensive army that I don't want to lose. So we're going to wander up here. I don't care about the snapping turtles. They're not that dangerous. We're all healed up. All right, guys, you may now fight whatever you want. I feel like that mammoth is going to be a great help to us uh, considering how tough it is and how much damage it can do. 
it took on like 15 bears all by itself. I could probably send it to 1v1 the tiger, but um, the tiger can hurt me personally so bad that it's very hard to do. I just don't want to dodge things. I'm very lazy like that. We'll take the wolves though. We'll take all of these. The mammoth is going to fight the wolves. I like the way it stuns everything. This area is so dangerous. Like look at all this stuff attacking me. I'm not even going to fight that. I'm just going to leave. I'm going to take my ball and go home. I also realized I was very close to buying the mantis axe. I had like 360 bones, so I bought a few... It's only 370 to buy. That's going to give me more damage and my animals more damage also because we're going to spend a lot of money on it. I can buy mammoths if I want to. They're actually not that much more expensive than bears. They have uh, twice the damage of bears um, and a little bit more HP. Okay, so now that I went, go to go back out into the world, the swamp is unlocked, which is going to have newer, stronger creatures, which does make me a little bit nervous, but um, we'll make this work. I think we got some caterpillars to start. They're going to be the weakest of creatures here. So hopefully we'll be able to take them on fairly easily. And it feels weird to be adding these onto my army, but we're going to be doing just that. The wolf is able to basically 1v1 it, so that's a good sign. And anything that's not stronger than them is going to die, so that's okay. My army will balance itself out that way naturally. Actually, now that it's dark out anyway, um, we're going to uh, teleport back home. And then we can figure out just how strong these are. The caterpillar, we're going to get that. Not that strong, actually. Only 315 attack for a hero, which isn't enough. And while I was sitting here uh, waiting for night to stop, I bought a little upgrade that's going to make me a little bit quicker. Back into the daylight, we're going to find out what comes after Caterpillar. Oh, I already found a ladybug that I can let out of its cage. It's going to be stronger. Every last. Because I'm so quick right now, I'm mostly going to ignore caterpillars. They're not really worth my time to kill right now. These, however, might be. They're some kind of flying bug, which are very weak. But we're going to put them on our team because I need something anyway. Our very first cave in the new area. We have lots of bears. We have a mammoth. We should be fine to deal with whatever this is. Sheep. Hmm. Sheep don't seem very intimidating, but I bet they're pretty strong here. And the best part is there is enough of them that we'll probably be able to get a sheep hero out of this, which may or may not be great. We definitely lost a few units fighting these. We're down to 17. Hopefully those are mostly caterpillars where we really lose. Losing. Um, we also don't directly get a sheep to keep with us, but we'll get a hero. Plus, we got a reward of golden bones. The next biome doesn't really have a boss. Well, it does at the very, very end. That's just a really annoying walk. So far in the swamp biome, we're mostly finding ladybugs, which I'm mostly ignoring because I don't think they're strong enough to be worth my time. We'll kill them pretty easily, but they won't really be a big improvement for us. There's some sheep, though. We will start with those. Uh, I'm hoping my mammoth can get in there and kind of stun them a lot and hurt them uh, because they're probably fairly strong at this point. But we can start adding them to our army, so I'm very happy about that. They're actually strong enough to kill some of our bears, which is impressive, so they're obviously pretty strong. We're actually losing a lot of bears. We only have one left. And I'm okay with that because they've simply been replaced with something stronger. And once the sheep run out, I run out of interest. I'm not going to fight a lot of other things. So there are some sheep coming up behind us, which is kind of annoying. But we can resurrect our hero if we really want to. I don't know if we want to bother. So these sheep are mostly going to take for bones because we're still that strong. I just realized how many caterpillars we still have. We lost a lot of bears, but we have an army of caterpillars. I didn't notice just because they're so small and hard to see. That's a lot of sheep. We're going to try and go around all those because I just don't feel like fighting all those for bones. We have frogs again. I assume this is a new version of frogs that are going to be very strong, but I also want to fight these two sheep because this is an easy way to gain one. And we need one. All right, now let's fight the frogs that are going to be much stronger than they were before, hopefully. Certainly looks like the case because they're not dying instantly as they would. And they have a bit of a ranged attack. It's a shame I can't get that one. Let's go fight some more frogs. We have a stuck bear. Right, well, fight these guys. We're going to lose something eventually. We'll replace with frogs and sheep. There we go. Okay, we, we kind of have the weird problem. Uh, we're still full of units. Um, I don't know why nothing's killing my caterpillars, but I wish they would so we could replace them with more sheep like this. I'm kind of going to let everything fight it out right here uh, until I basically replace everything with sheep, and that's actually working pretty nicely. Areas like this are kind of annoying because you basically have to fight things along the way uh, because you're, it's like a choke point. But that's okay because we'll either destroy them or we'll add them to our army because that's the advantage of having an army that's 21 one large. Definitely still wouldn't mind a whole bunch of our caterpillars dying, though I think we're getting less and less. Like, we just defeated all of that. We're not really losing enough to replace it with. We get lots of animal parts, but I wish I could add them to the army. There is another cave or boss unit here, so we're gonna see what's in this one, because I want what's in caves. We won't bother with these guys. Bees! Everyone's favorite! Oh, they do like a ranged attack too. I'm gonna like these. Hopefully they're, uh, very weak. They don't seem that strong, because we're going through them pretty quickly. An army of bees sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, we're actually losing a lot of units. We're down to 12, but that's okay. We'll replace them with better units. 
And when I go back to town, I'm selling all the caterpillars. I'm so over them already. Now for the treasure trove, 480 gold and the assorted parts. Now we're going to carefully walk through the night to our next teleport point. Or we're going to wander into ladybugs because the controls are necessary a little janky. But we can add heroes like the Toad Brothers now, which do 750 attack. So that's probably going to take out the Rhino. And we've unlocked Caterpillar and Ladybug and Bee. The bee is probably the one we're going to take. Definitely. There's 1,225 attack and 20,000 health. Uh, plus even the sheep is probably very strong. Yeah, it is 700 attack. So we're going to take out things like the wolf and the bison. Then we're going to buy ourselves some bees um, because they're just really strong. And that's probably going to be enough to carry my army for now. This warp point I have to use right now is really annoying because I have to go through this weird little choke point again. But we can take out some sheep along the way. The bees should make very short work of them. And they do. I really like their ranged attack. The hero animals are probably basically going to tank the damage while the bees can attack. That's going to be fine by me. There's also new fox things, so we're going to attack those also because they can probably absorb some damage. And we're also going to kill the bees because I need more bees. They're very expensive. Bees, come here. Bees, come here. So you can definitely feel their damage when you get close to them though, but we're okay. I activated the next warp point. The next boss is going to be straight south. That's convenient and it's near a warp point. Getting into area of lots of foxes. Hopefully the bees can take those out because I could definitely use a few of those in my little army. We're also going to bring back our hero. We're going to capture that. That's fine. Maybe we'll get some new bees. Yeah, we're done with that now. Now attack these bees, not the upper ones. Got those bees. We're up to 6 out of 21 plus the heroes, which is still actually pretty good. Not going to fight all those because that's too much damage. Those things are new. There's some kind of beetle. I really want to get to the boss though, which is somewhere still straight south. Because I'm pretty sure if we can just skip a lot of the boring enemies, we get to the boss, fight the boss. That's going to help us get more of the enemies. I think this is going to be faster. It's a hyena. The bees should... Uh, hopefully carry me through this. I may have put too much faith in the bees, but we're going to find out very shortly because I think we're running out of bees already. So that's not great. But oh, never mind. I didn't realize I was out of units, but I did get enough for a Firefox and a hyena, both of which are going to be incredibly strong. The hyena does 2100 damage. So next time we can use that to make a giant mess and destroy everything. 